I'm Milton Schoen and welcome to America Salutes. Today as our guest we have Peggy Moon who is the commander of the Minnesota American Legion and welcome to America Salutes Peggy. Hello Milt, how are you? Very good. Well why don't you start off by uh, telling us uh, a little bit about your military background and your background. Well I am from Minnesota, born and raised, uh, raised in Zimmerman, Minnesota and I enlisted in the Air Force at the, um, towards the tail end of the Vietnam conflict and spent my entire time at Travis Air Force Base on the West Coast. And I worked for public affairs in the Air Force. I enjoyed being in the Air Force. Mm -hmm. Very good. And uh, in the American Legion, uh, your membership is composed of both men and women, and women can be in leadership positions. Exactly. One of the neat things that I like to talk about is the fact that women were allowed to join the American Legion before they even had the right to vote. That's an amazing We've uh, always statement. considered a veteran as a veteran as a veteran, whether you're male or female. That's very good. Well, and, uh, and I'd say congratulations on being elected commander because that is uh, no small task. No, I was the first female commander in 97 years. That's great. Of course, with that comes a little pressure. If I don't do a good job, it may take them another 97 years to elect another one. <laughs> well, one of, one of the other things, Peggy, is that oftentimes people are not aware of how involved uh, veterans organizations and legions are in their communities. That, uh, you know, there's boy state, girl state. Very there's much so. We um, have a multitude of programs for kids to help teach them patriotism, citizenship, uh, Boy State is one of those examples. We take the best kids from around the state and teach them uh, responsive citizenry. And uh, we meet at Marshall at the university there. Uh, just uh, last year, the gentleman that became our Minnesota uh, Boy State governor went on to become Boys Nation president. That's very good. Exactly. And it, it is just, it's a wonderful experience. We also, of course, are very um, involved in American Legion baseball. Uh, it used to be, at one point, about 80% of the pros got their start in American Legion baseball. Uh, I don't know what that number is today because a lot of our pros are coming from other countries. But it's still very popular today. And um, it allows... Uh, the chance for some of these kids who are from small towns uh, that they would never have a chance to have a scout at their high school game. But when they're in American Legion baseball and we have the American Legion baseball tournaments, believe me, the scouts come to that and it allows those kids to be eligible for scholarships that they probably never would have had a chance uh, to otherwise. And, and the post oftentimes are a lifeblood of communities, whether, exactly. it, whether it is providing uh, support to law enforcement for ambulances or, or things such as hospital visitation, visiting veterans who are hospitalized exactly. and other activities. Exactly. And, and, and we help people that aren't veterans. You know, if there's usually somebody in the community that needs help, be it um, because of a medical issue or um, a fire, tornadoes, a lot of times it's that American Legion post that helps organize help f for the family. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a gathering place and a place of things being done. Exactly. And your message would be that people can contribute in any w one of many ways. Exactly, exactly. Well, you, could uh, you know, uh, we uh, do various programs f to do the scholarships in schools you know, to help our, our children. We do whatever we can to help the veterans in our community. Uh, to me, we're kind of like that pulse, that heartbeat in the community. That's connected. Exactly. Very good. Well, I know commanders have a project every year, and I, I believe that you've got a special one this we year. We do. Uh, one of the other um, programs that we have for our youth is school patrol training. And we have... Um, a center up on North Long Lake, just outside of Brainerd, near Merrifield. We have about 500 acres, 1,500 feet of prime lakeshore property, and our school patrol training center is up there called Legionville. So I brought a few slides. I'd like to show you a little bit about it. Very good. First of all, just to cover what Legionville is, it's, it's a camp for middle school children and they hold about 800 uh, through the course of the summer. They teach 
school patrol, safety techniques, patriotism, and they just have good, clean fun right on the water. The camp was established in 1936 as a cooperative venture between the Minnesota State Patrol and the Minnesota America Legion. We had a barn on the property, and that was used for all of our training and just about everything else. If it rained outside, we had games. So this has been going on for 88 years. For Yes. That's a long time. Since to, 1936, to, we've had to, this. To exactly, do that. every year. About and, 800 kids go and, through this program. And there are many, many volunteers uh, who prepare the site uh, before yes. the kids arrive. Yes, our, our legionnaires go up uh, during the month of May and get it ready for camp. Um, and certainly the uh, safety patrol does a lot of volunteering up there too because they help teach the program. Right. Mm -hmm. Now in 2011, it was judged that the barn had seen better days. We used to have dances in there <laughs> and, and you could just tell the upper floor was starting, you could feel it move, and, and uh, we decided that the barn had to be torn down. We looked at a lot of different options, and they all cost a lot of money to replace the educational structure. And one of the things I'm proudest about, what we have done in the course of the last two years, is we have put in a new educational building and have not gone one penny in debt. So you, within two years, you were able to run all, uh, mm -hmm. uh, get and all the capital close, costs. It, we're close to the, the finish. We are about eighty thousand short from finishing it, um, and that's what I'm trying to do this year: is raise the rest of the funds, and that last eighty thousand will get us all the way down to the catering pots and pans that and, we need. And, and so, by not carrying debt you're able to put the money into services for the school Exactly, patrol. and everything we've done, we've done as we've had the money. So, it's, yeah, to build this brand new training center that's going to last for decades more, it will be fantastic. And, and, and the location is centrally located throughout the state, so you have uh, children that are participating. From all over. From all over the state. Exactly, and one of the neat things, for instance, is they learn a lot about school patrol, all right? They also learn first aid, CPR, and we had um, one person who attended camp, it was, I want to say, four or five years ago, uh, a, a, a girl, and um, she came home and she was out for dinner with her family, and mom, dad, grandma, and in the course of the meal, the grandma started choking, and everybody kind of looked at each other, and you could tell she was in distress, and this girl just got up and went over and did the Heimlich maneuver on her and out popped whatever it was that had gotten lodged. And they said, well, how did you learn that? And she said, I learned it at Legionville. I thought, That's here a, we are, you know, we're- so You're empowering these exactly, children. Exactly, exactly. And kids love to volunteer their time. They love to be useful. They love to Take be of service. Exactly. And, and, and to be contributing. Exactly. Which is one of the things about the Legion, because I think one of your, um, uh, uh, statements is that still serving. Exactly, that still serving America. Pe people have served in the military and mm -hmm. as they come out of it, uh, they're still serving their communities and mm -hmm. be it uh, with the veterans home or yes. hospitals or with community activities. Exactly, exactly. We want to do anything we can to better our communities, make them a nice place to come home to. Right, and, that, mm -hmm. and it's very important because the, it, you're able to, to get resources, you're able to have a, a meeting place, and especially in greater Minnesota, that it's oftentimes the, the center of the community because this exactly. is where the weddings, mm -hmm. the dances. The you know, our veterans come home with a multitude of skills. So usually whatever you need, somebody in your post will know how to take care of that. And so, that's nice to have. So you're not paying retail for all the work that, exactly. You, that you do. Exactly, exactly. That, that, that's great. And over the years, there are just literally thousands of school patrol uh, have been trained at Legionville. Yes, like we, we do about 800 a year. 800 a year, mm -hmm. so, and that leads to the safety of mm -hmm. individuals. And we've never had a fatality where we've had a Legionville trained school patrol on the corner. That's, that's an, a good record. That's an impressive record. Yes. A, a very impressive record. Yes. And, it, and it's a very important thing to, to have, know that your the children are going to be safe as they go to school. Exactly. And uh, So you're doing something good for the kids and you're making the kids feel good about themselves in the process. Right. What a win-win situation. And, uh, and we're doing it under the Legionville name. 
Very good. And uh, um, this is, uh, is this unique to Minnesota? Are there other Minnesota states? Minnesota is the only one that has this. The only, mm -hmm. the only state in the, the union? the only, exactly. And, and Minnesota is a big legion state. We've got a higher percentage participation. We're in the top than, 10. Than, than most states. That's right, we're in the top 10. We do a very good job. Uh, we actually have a better penetration rate than many other states as well. Right now, I would say about 24, 25% of eligible veterans are members of the American Legion. Where in some states like, like Florida and Texas, we have a lot of retirees. Uh, they're down in the single digits. Single digits. Mm -hmm. Well, that's an impressive thing to have one quarter of any group yes. that would be a member of an organization that, that says mm -hmm. that it's an exceptionally strong. Yeah, right now we have about 85,000 members. So. And, you know, people always want to say, at one point we had 130,000, and um, people like to say, well, you know, the American Legion, is, those veterans organizations are dying. We had a, a, a national commander last year and when he was faced with that question, he'd say, do you realize that across this nation, we have more American Legion posts than there are McDonald's? We have more American Legion posts than we have Starbucks. I mean, we are out there. We are and, and visible. And speaking of that statement that the, the veteran population has gone down, that is because in World War II, virtually everybody went exactly. into service. Exactly. And there were 16 million men and women who went in. Exactly. And we've been fortunate that Korea and Vietnam, even though they required substantial numbers of people in Desert Storm and our current conflict, they didn't require a total mobilization of the country the way World War II did. So, exactly. Um, and, oh, and today, what is it, 1%? Of our total population wears the uniform? Yeah, it's it's 1% and, and it's, uh, you know, when we were growing up, it was not a question of, you know, are you going into the services? You know, what branch are you going into? Exactly. And there well, was we had selective service. So. You had selective service and you had, you had uh, an expectation of service. And, exactly. And today, uh, because they've had such a, a smaller footprint, because they've used the mm -hmm. National Guard, because they've gone four or five tours, uh, we don't have as many veterans as we would have otherwise. Exactly. And so it's not, it's not a weakness, it's just the reality of, of, of the numbers, of the numbers and, and mm -hmm. what our country has done. But we're still very, very strong. Right. And we're important to your community. Well, uh, in our last minute, if you would like to leave our viewers with uh, a thought or thoughts about uh, the Legion and its role in the, in the community, uh, uh, why don't you share them with, us, with our viewers? Well, in wrapping up, we talked earlier that uh, we're going to have another deployment before too long, and it's going to be 700 Minnesotans will be headed over to West Africa. That means 700 families are going to be split up again. Get to know your American Legion. Make sure that um, you have a connection there, because if your family needs anything whatsoever, we're there to help, even if it's to help somebody fix a car so or... You're there to support, and, and if the spouse uh, ha has problems with needs, the furnace, if they have exactly. th uh, Get in touch with us. issues, you know, you can we be We know helped. what it's like to be separated. And, and that's an, a very important thing because... Mm -hmm. uh, We've uh, been there. Uh, you've been there, and as you mentioned, there are 700 people who are going to be gone. Exactly. Uh, and uh, departing from their hometowns to, to so support So you do country. your job and let us take care of the family. Very good. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, I want to thank you for being our guest today and, uh, and sharing information about the American Legion. And I'm going to wish you well in thank your you. year as commander. Pleasure to be here. And uh, for America Salutes, this is Milton Schoen, and thank you for viewing America Salutes. Mm -hmm.